Since Bitcoin Flash crashed, many investors lost faith in this new asset class and have completely liquidated out of the cryptocurrency markets. However, little do they know, major exchanges such as the New York Stock Exchange and the Nasdaq are super bullish, secretly in love with Bitcoin and preparing to introduce it to their clients next year. In this video, we will be covering why Bitcoin is poised to explode in 2019, coming up now. Your money working for you, or are you working for money? Welcome to the Crypto Lifestyle, the lifestyle where your money works for you instead of you working for that money. Is Bitcoin dead or is Bitcoin a farce? This seems to be the noise that's being put out there by the uneducated or novice crypto fanatics. But before we get to the good stuff on why Bitcoin is destined to moon in 2019, if this is the first time we're meeting, hey, my name is Francis, also known as The Crypto Lifestyle, and my passion is educating people on blockchain technology and the implications it has in not only changing lives, but also changing the world. We also cover up and coming projects in the cryptocurrency space, passive income opportunities, and projects that has the potential of giving us a 100x return like we did in 2017 with Icon and very similar to what we did in 2018 in a bear market with Digitex Futures. So if you're new here, consider subscribing because from the bottom of my heart, I will hate for anyone to miss out on such an opportunity. Okay guys, so look, it's easy to get into challenges, but let's embrace the reality of it and let's talk facts. So why is Bitcoin destined to fly high in 2019? Here is why. When you have a gentleman by the name of Jeff Spreacher, who is the chairman of the New York Stock Exchange, making headlines like this. Jeff Spreacher, chairman of the New York Stock Exchange, says Bitcoin and other digital assets are here to stay, despite bear market. Now, let's get a little closer look at that fine print. Spreacher is also CEO of Intercontinental Exchange, which is teaming up with Microsoft and Starbucks to launch Bact, a company that will facilitate Bitcoin futures in January of 2019. We're creating that infrastructure that doesn't exist today, which we think Think is a big opportunity for institutional investors to come in backed CEO Kelly Loeffler says do you see how powerful this is ladies and gentlemen you know shit is getting real when Starbucks starts getting involved in Bitcoin hey look I love Starbucks coffee and I love it even more when I can pay for it in Bitcoin but that's not the powerful thing here the powerful line was a big opportunity for institutional investors to come in. A couple of things here to note. For one, the New York Stock Exchange has an overall market cap of over 23 trillion US dollars. We are talking about institutional money flowing into the crypto markets in amounts we have never seen before. To put this into perspective, at the time I am recording this video, the overall crypto market has a market cap of $138 billion. The New York Stock Exchange, however, has a $23 trillion market cap. This is 138 times more than the overall crypto markets. Now, you're ready for the real powerful stuff? Even if we only get 10% of that institutional money flowing into the Bitcoin markets via future contracts or just cryptocurrency as a whole, that would be 10% of $23 trillion, which is $2.3 trillion. This is still well more than double the all-time high of the overall market cap of the cryptocurrency markets was able to reach in December of 2017. Let's just say that only 10% or $2.3 trillion flowed into the markets next year, which is a very conser conservative estimate, by the way. We can expect Bitcoin to hit around $50,000 sometime in 2019, if everything goes according to plan and timelines are met. Let's take a look at this piece of the article right here. Kelly Lofier, who is the chief executive officer of Back states, to give the best chance of success, we pushed it back to the holidays to give people more time to get on board. Back is starting with Bitcoin. Note, starting not limited to or only using Bitcoin, but starting with Bitcoin. Very important to note here. She goes on to say, 
we're creating that infrastructure that doesn't exist today, which we think is a big opportunity for institutional investors to come in, Lawfear said. Again, the keywords of that statement is for institutional investors to come in. Remember that guy, Spreacher? Well, he goes on to say this. Somehow, Bitcoin has lived in a swamp and survived. There are thousands of other tokens that you could argue are better, but yet, Bitcoin continues to survive and thrive and attract attention. Somebody is bullish on Bitcoin, all right? But he's not done yet. Speecher begins to drop some shade on the DAO by saying, the DAO has been around for decades. It's a terrible index. We could come up with an index that's more representative of our economy, but somehow that index will not go away, Speecher says. Is he hinting to or referring to a centralized system that is afraid of being replaced by innovation? I think this calls for an OG moment. But the New York Stock Exchange are not the only major exchange who are bullish on Bitcoin. The NASDAQ, which is the second largest stock exchange by market cap, are also making headlines. NASDAQ plans to pursue Bitcoin futures despite plunging prices, sources say. NASDAQ is moving ahead with a plan to list Bitcoin futures according to two people, familiar with the matter, betting on sustained interest despite the cryptocurrency's dramatic plunge over the past year. The NASDAQ has a market cap of $10.3 trillion. Once again, even if we get 10% of this figure following, flowing into the crypto markets, that equates to just over $1 trillion. Combined with 10% of the New York Stock Exchange of $2.3 trillion plus the one trillion this equals to 3.3 trillion dollars combined institutional funds entering into our markets i'm gonna end things real soon but if that did not give you a dopamine rush perhaps this may help the good old sec seems to be warming up to bitcoin and cryptocurrency an article written by whatbitcoindid.com wrote about a podcast that was conducted on november 24th with a commissioner yeah believe it or not a commissioner from the SEC, Miss Hester Pierce, who says, and I quote, Just because you are calling something crypto does not mean you can ignore the rules we have had in place for years. But I do think we also need to be willing to open the doors a little bit wider for innovation. Okay, look, I'm running out of time here. So in conclusion, let's look at the bigger picture. Look, as I said earlier, I know firsthand it's very easy to get caught up in the challenges, but please, let's take a step back and let's state the facts. We got Bitcoin ETFs and Bitcoin futures releasing early next year in 2019, but you may be asking, why is the price of Bitcoin reaching such ultra low prices? Well, if you are like myself and you're a believer in history repeats itself, gold did the same exact darn thing when gold ETF and gold futures were introduced some years ago. Please, do yourself a favor and ask yourself this question. Would these big time exchanges like the New York Stock Exchange and the Nasdaq go through these issues and hassles of starting ETFs and futures contracts, listing them on their own exchanges, offering it to their own clients if they thought Bitcoin was a farce or a bubble or a fake currency or a Ponzi or a fake asset or whatever you want to call it? Well, the answer is simple. Nah. They don't do shit for no reason. Wherever I go, it just goes with me. Crypto life is the life I lead.